Hello, friends, and welcome to another live stream. How are you all doing today? How is the chat? Nothing new is happening, right? It's just Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? It's Wednesday. We're playing games. No news has happened today. There's just a bunch of bats in the chat. What is going on? Bats? Hello? Hello, friends? <laughs> what happened to my chat? They turned into bats. What's going on? What is going on here? All right, welcome on in, everybody. It's my first stream back, unless you're in the Mench Gang. But if you're not in the Mench Gang, it's my first stream back since Taylor Swift, since going to the Holotago Warehouse in New Jersey. I was gone for the last two streams. I know, I'm like a real YouTuber now. I'm traveling. <laughs> I'm doing things. <laughs> and we're doing it again because we're going on a big Hollow Taco X Sophia truck adventure next weekend in Raleigh, North Carolina. So yeah, it's wild. Okay, we can go through it, but uh, welcome on in. It's good to be back. We are playing games today, but we're gonna derail the games for like half an hour. Okay, bear with me. I, I mean, like, come on, look at all this. <laughs> what has Ben saying? We had lunch with Bruce Springsteen? No, we did not. Um, see you on June 10th, bestie. <laughs> Who's coming? Okay, we'll do a poll later. Hello from Heat Waved Montreal. How is it in Ottawa? Uh, I think it's hot outside. I don't know. I'm wearing my fiendish behavior hoodie anyways. Say yes to the truck. We spend 24 hours in a truck. See what happens. We spent a week driving a truck. Is your hair darker? No, I blow dried it. People always say this. Every time I straighten my hair blow dryer, everyone thinks I dyed it. And I never do. I never did. <laughs> so welcome to the mods. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to me. And yeah, it's Wednesday. We're playing games tonight. We're playing Firewatch, which was voted on by Menchie Gang in Sunday's members only stream. So thank you guys for voting. It's a game that's new to me, although I think it was released in 2016. So it's not a new game, but every game is new to me when you're a newbie gamer like me. So it's a game where you're lost in the wilderness and you have to find your way out and you only have communication with one other person at the end of like a walkie talkie and that person is not Ben. So I, I'm, I don't know, I think I'm gonna die basically. So stay tuned if you wanna watch us play games and me probably die in the wilderness. You can't wait for this game, woo. Seems a lot of people are fans of it for those who played it. So that's good to hear. Missed you mom, thanks Mike. Glad you had a fun time. Will it be a pop-up shop? I am confused. Let's go through it. Okay, let's just do it. Let's do it. Okay, Minchi's not here, so rude. She did not come. Sophia! Sophia! She's not here, but I'm gonna pretend. Sophia! <laughs> okay, did you see the reel? I can't play the music. Um, because it's copyright. <gasps> Sage, thank you so much. It's such a generous super chat. Okay, so I went to Canada for my 19th birthday. We all know why. Why? <laughs> why? <laughs> and it was my first time leaving America and I loved it. Anyways, I was just wondering how your gas prices work because it was scary seeing gas go from 365. Oh, because yours is gallons and ours is liters, right? That's why. Well, that's part of the reason. That's not the only reason, but it's a, it's a different, it's a different metric. Other than that, I don't have an answer for you, <laughs> but thank you so much. Really nice super chat. I'm so excited. I can't wait for that color. Okay, wait, we didn't do something yet. I have to do something. Just pardon me. Hold your member chats. Sophia and Simply are back. I can finally tell you because I've been keeping it a secret for like six months. No, I don't know. A really long time, like a really long time. <laughs> I don't want to take everything away, you know, from her when she wants to share whatever, but like I kept fucking secrets from you detectives. I'm proud of myself. This is me saying me. I would like to thank 
Me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> But yeah, you know it was gonna happen. A lot of people were like, oh, it's gonna be like 2027, you know? <laughs> uh-uh, we started planning a long time ago and we've done a lot of work already and the day is finally here where we're announcing the collab because we're doing truck adventures. So let's let's go to that. Okay, where were we? Go back, go back, Christine. Uh, I missed a bunch of member chats. Let me just quickly, I wanna go right. Go right, Susan. What is this? This is the slowest thing I've ever seen in my life. Silly Munch Kids, thank you. Mushroom Lady, the vacation collection came in today at Private Villa. Woo! Matches a dress. So excited for the club. Thank you, Ivana. Look how slow this clicks. What is going on? Susan, please come back. Please help us. I'm so ready for the bats. Thank you, Mod Carol. Okay. So, this is copyright, but just for two seconds. I'm gonna sing for you. Ready? Time goes by so slowly. 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 Do 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 in the background. Do 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 the beats dropping in your mind and then we're like what do you think that was a what do you think at the end okay you can go to our reel on Sophia's feed or mine to listen to it with like the actual audio or you can enjoy that song I just sang you whichever one you prefer this is our official announcement Sophia x hollow taco coming September of this year not next year this year we're doing it it's happening it's happening Put it in your calendars, September, the entire month, just block it off. The entire month, you're busy, okay? People ask what you're doing this September, you're busy. Okay, it's just a sneak peek. I'm sad to miss this one. You're sad to miss this one in September? Mike is busy for the entire month of September. <laughs> but Collection Club is releasing, some yes, we'll go over it right, right now, Mike. My two fave YouTubers together again. So excited, so excited for this collab. Saf is the reason I found your channel. Thank you, Saf. So excited for this collab. Can't wait, I love you both. I'm finally here for live again. We probably should go to work, but kind of lazy. It's fine, you're here. Saf is the one who introduced me to Simply in 2019, and now I own every single Hollow Taco nail polish. <laughs> Saf was there when we first launched Holo Taco. Cause remember we went to VidCon in 2019 and Holo Taco had a booth. So she was there for like the initial chaos and lead up to launching the brand. And she saw the stress, she saw me cry, she saw me smile. So it does feel like she's been there, you know, behind the scenes and in front of the scenes so for a really long time since we launched brand. So I'm very excited. This time will go by so slowly until September. Yes, good caption me. And then if you head over to Hollow Tacos post, we also posted that we're very excited to collab with Sat Legendary style, we love it. And to celebrate our collab, which isn't coming out until September, but we will both be spending the day in a nail polish truck on June 10th in Raleigh, North Carolina. That's where Sophia resides. So we're, we're working on a huge nail polish truck. Well, Sophia's team is working on it and I'm gonna hop on board basically. And there's a schedule there in terms of like where we're gonna be in a truck and that's exactly what it's gonna look like. You see this graphic with our heads? This is a real live action play. We're LARPing right here, there you go. What is it? Live action role play. <laughs> What? <laughs> that's what it's gonna look like. We're gonna be driving around and parking at three spots in Raleigh, R Raleigh, 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 Raleigh. I don't know how to say it, but I'm sure I will learn. June 10th, it's a Saturday. So now you know, because if we're gonna show you a truck and do all this stuff on the 10th, you'd know there's a collab. So we're like, okay, announce the collab, then do the truck. But yeah, so this is kind of like, a, it's not really, a, I mean, I guess it's a sneak peek. Anyone who goes, we'll see what we're giving away, including one nail polish. Here, why don't I just go to our stories? Cause I'm pretty sure it says it. Can you guess? Some of you guessed. 
here. Here. So we'll be giving away one of our upcoming collab collection polishes to a small number of lucky people who visit us on the truck. It's just, it's a free giveaway. They're not for sale yet. To be incredibly clear, we're not selling anything on the truck. We're just giving shit away, okay? Like YouTubers do. Think Mr. Beast, except Simply Not Logical and Sophia. And very different experience, probably. <laughs> but yeah, it's just one of her collection polishes. So there will be a, a leak. There will be just a little bit of a leak because you'll see one of the shits. Our collab is not for sale yet, just to be incredibly clear. It only goes on sale for everyone on the internet to all the regions that Holo Taco ships to, you know, 70 plus countries in September. This is just kind of like a pre-promo thing that we're doing for fun, doing a little filming. And yeah, be sure to follow us for updates. And we have limited quantities of the nail polish on the truck because it's pre-production. Saf is exactly my vibe, so I know this is gonna be the perfect collab for me. <laughs> Just moved from one bedroom to, a, sorry, one bedroom apartment to a bedroom. It's been an adjustment for me, him including my cat. Your streams equal familiarity. We're all here, we're all familiar, right? We're all familiar friends and fiends. Thank you, Jen. It's cool to see friends work together. It is fun to work with friends. That's so cute. Will this be free? Yes, we're giving away free stuff, but as a result, it's limited. Only have a small number of pre-production polishes. And then there's some other goodies as well. See, free manicures will be done, free chocolate, free drinks from Milk Lab. So this is all happening next Saturday, June 10th in Raleigh. It's like an all day thing with three different stops. If you live in the area, please come see us on the truck. It'll be fun. I worked for 11 hours today and now I'm painting my nails with late checkout. I've been up since 2 a.m. Had to be at work at 3 a.m. I wish you get a late checkout. No, you don't want a late checkout from your job. Sorry, I said that backwards. <laughs> I wish we could do more cities like a tour like Taylor Swift, but unfortunately, um, that that's just <laughs> well I don't know how to tour <laughs> we were not planning a full tour because we actually have to to work on what we're eventually releasing and then everything else looks like we'll be doing NDA's IRL right right I'm gonna give everyone who comes to visit us on the truck a piece of paper and you have to sign it before you can open your eyes this is gonna last 10 minutes what this stream no <laughs> you mean the nail polish? Yeah, we're only gonna be able to give away a small bucket and we'll save a little bucket for each stop probably But yeah, we'll be handing out NDAs from the truck exactly Wish I could come but I'm graduating that that's more important But you'll be there in September on the internet. So you're good Wearing iron violet. I'm wearing aquafoil and world's first my favorite one croak one coat chrome toppers This is the only cool thing happening in North Carolina in 2023. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I, it's a cool place there. Okay. And I also have to point out that the detectives, shout out to the Simply Official Discord mods. There's already a new detective desk file open called the Fiendish file. And people have already started putting stuff in there. Like what is going on? What is this? Crumb comparisons. I don't know if you guys are on the right track. You just, you see things that aren't there, but it's fine. What's this? Her video? You're looking for... Okay, I don't know if Sophia has had this kind of exposure to the mindset of detectives who just screen all your stuff and start taking... Like, what is this? Sophia, I think I like these. This is the detectives writing on top of her content. Sophia's palette, warm palette. They're like quoting her. I, Sophia, I don't, she's not watching. But like, I don't think she's prepared for this level of interrogation and speculation. And they're gonna like take a picture of her nails for like the last two years on the internet. 
I especially like this. Thank you guys for isolating these. What's this? Her name. Guys, you can barely see this. Like, what is this picture? <laughs> this is the res provided by the detectives. <laughs> I can't even tell what that is. I'm like, what is that? That's the worst res I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> one in Ottawa, one in North Carolina. I mean, that would require driving a fully decked out truck uh, across the border. I don't know if the border, border agents would be cool with that. You know what I mean? Is Saf ready for us to zoom in on the reflection in her eye? I don't think so. Please do not freak her out is basically my request. NDAs and do not scare her away. I'm looking through the detective's work. <gasps> Who found this? I'm not gonna open it. I don't want you to know what I'm referring to. <laughs> Anyways, this is all in the Simply Analogical Discord server. A new file was opened. It's called the fiendish file. You, you have to add the file to see it. I don't know if you know this, but um, here, wait, can I just show you? You have to go detective's desk and then the new file and then you have to click this and you have to hit follow. I know it's a little weird because like you have to remember to hit follow, but like the desk is here and then you could see the new file and then you go to the little three dots and then you hit follow. I already, I already followed it. And then once you follow it, it'll pop up here always when people are adding stuff. Like probably what, what, uh, what is chaos is happening now? Where's the chaos? Chaos? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what simply meant when she said we would be thrown off by the announcement. Who found this? Hmm. Dying to know what it was. Hi. Hi, Elaine. Hello, Super Sam. What? <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, let's uh, <laughs> go on, detectives. Go on. It's fine. Do your work. I won't bother you. It's time to do your homework. What is happening? We're talking about the Sophia X Hollow Taco collab. It's been announced. Sophia X Hollow Taco, it's happening this September. So not nothing is for sale until September. I will repeat this multiple times. <laughs> but because we're doing a little truck event in Raleigh, North Carolina, next Saturday on June 10th, we're announcing the collab now, and then if you're around the North Carolina, uh, Raleigh area, you can come see us on the truck and get a sneak peek of one of the shades where we're giving away a limited quantity of what we were able to make very early. So I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Meant you can't hide it. Uh, I said like 10 minutes ago, I was gonna do a poll. And now I can't remember what it was. Oh yeah, if you're gonna come, okay. Are you local Raleigh and would you come? Yes, not close, I wish. I know the majority of you aren't gonna be there. I understand, but I am curious how many people are because I've seen a lot of comments be like oh my god I live down the street <laughs> and I'm like really okay that's super convenient for you guys <laughs> Ra okay Raleigh or Raleigh or Raleigh I don't know I will continue to say it inconsistently just because needed a third option with travel oops i fucked up my poll just if you're traveling to go see it just say yes i'm going to see it it's raleigh 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 yeah my brain sees l-e-i-g and i think lay like le i don't know why i do that because if it was raleigh why wouldn't it should just be like raw r-a-h lee like l-y <laughs> you know Rally, la 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 <laughs> Rally, rally, rally. Wally. <laughs> like slay. Raleigh. Exactly. That's why my head does that. 
<laughs> I was like, why is that? Like, slay. Yeah, but same with Ashley. Like, I knew someone growing up named Ashley spelt this way with the L-E-I-G-H, and it was always Ashley as opposed to Ashley. Although I know there, I know other Ashleys who with the same spelling who say it the latter, but I grew up with a friend who was Ashley. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's why. So I'm like, Raleigh. <laughs> Who wants to drive me carpool? <laughs> Anyways, we are all incredibly excited and grateful for Sophia. Cause it's happening. I mean, like, you know what was gonna happen, right? Like at some point, come on. You just didn't expect it this soon. Ash Slay. <laughs> Ra Raul Slay. Okay, no, that does not work. Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Okay, let's take a look at the full. Oh my god, 9% of you say that you're either either local or you're going to travel and you're going to come. This is very exciting. But don't worry if you can't physically come. Hollow Taco will be there sharing some stories on the Hollow Taco Instagram slash Facebook. So you can check in throughout the day on June 10th and see what we're doing. Chris, I'm so excited for this collaboration with Sap. Woo, thanks for blessing my feed with this number. You're welcome, and thank you, Diane. Thank you, Lei, pronounced like Hawaiian Lays. Y yeah, another reason why L-E-I is like that in my brain. That's how you know how to spell words with I and E except after C, or when sounded as A, as in neighbor and way. Okay, my brain is has shut down. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Do, do. You know, like the Windows shutdown music? That's what just happened in my brain. So sad. I would totally travel, but I will be on vacation as long as you have your vacation collection. <laughs> I just got my vacation collection. I'm so hyped. I did a Manny with Never Tie Down. I can't stop staring. Thank you, Marlene. I'm glad you love it. Actually, I was expecting it since the Julian collab. Mm hmm. Yeah, some people were like, who else could she collab with? And then it was like, Sophia. Uh, you know what's funny that I just posted on my Instagram? I got a notification like email from TikTok that said one year ago memory. And I feel like, like they never do this or at least I don't get those emails. And uh, it said that. Here, let me just find it. Where is it? Simply. Hello? I have no stories. I'm coming next Saturday. Woo! I live between Ra Raleigh and Durham. What polish should I wear? I have them all. Well, maybe you can come get your nails painted. I think Australia is a little bit too far. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay, why are my own stories working? <laughs> what is happening? There we go. That's us right now. Here, look. TikTok sent me an email that said one year ago today, they never do this, or like, at least I don't acknowledge or realize that I get these emails. And it said exactly one year ago, we announced the Julian collab, like announced that it was gonna happen. I'm doing Easter eggs in like a specific way that I didn't even know. Like it's, it's the announcement date. Cause Saf's collection isn't coming out into the fall and Julian's came out in the first half of last year, so it's not releasing at the same time, but it's just funny that the announcement was the same day a year apart, right? I did that on purpose. <laughs> it's all connected. We manifested it. Who's next, Trim Trim? Oh my God. Will it be limited edition? Yes. You can expect that for any collab or IP or branding at otherwise. But you have lots of time to plan because now you know we never do this. You know it's in September, <laughs> which is like so long from now. <laughs> so you can plan for it. So will Sophia Collab have a box? I want to, I can't tell you anything. What did I say? What did I say? We're way too early. You need to stop. <laughs> what 
we have other Hollow Taco releases happening before Sophia. I know, shocking, and here I am telling you too much information again. There's other things before Sophia in September. Okay, so like, remain focused, detectives. What did I warn you about last time? I said, you're gonna pay too much attention over here, you're gonna miss something over here. Mm -hmm. You gotta plot it out, you gotta map it out. You gotta be careful, you don't miss some shit. That's what I'm saying. Because there's a whole lot of fun shit coming before Sophia. That's the tea, like our fourth anniversary. <gasps> How'd you know? Oh my God, they know. Make sure you sign that NDA. Yes, we are launching a fourth anniversary Hollow Taco collection in, I will let you guess what month. It's definitely totally a secret based on the past three years of history. <laughs> Ow, I just hit my tooth. <laughs> That you may know, other stuff, you don't know. You don't know. <laughs> you don't know so much, it's so funny. <laughs> I'm sorry, detectives, but not, you know, like it's, it's kind of funny. You will see. I will see if you will see. Plot twist, Sophia announcement is a distraction for the detectives, is it? Will they notice other things or will, will they just be like, bad, bad? and like, you know, all this way until September. We'll see. The detectives are gonna be all over Sophia's content. I know. Be kind, detectives. Do not be too invasive, you know? I don't know what she's expecting, but she's probably not expecting detectives to screenshot every single iteration of her hand and overanalyze it or like everything she says and be like, oh my God, she just said a shade name. Even though she was just like, hi guys. Today is Wednesday, or something. <laughs> like, whatever. You're like, oh my god, it's a shade name! Oh my god, her next video is, is all shade names, right? <laughs> Don't be weird, be normal. Last week I painted my bestie's nails with wireless mode. She loves the, the green teal blue combo. Can't wait to show her never tied to- Oh, she'll love that then. Did she help pick the colors? No. I picked all of them. <laughs> she had no say actually in her collab. Yeah, none at all. She wasn't allowed. We're just like, you're not allowed to pick. <laughs> what do you think this is? <laughs> Being weird is normal, I know. Your YouTube name sounds like something a detective would say and your actual name sounds like a detective's name. What? Simply not logical sounds like a, what a detective would say. It is actually, it sounds like that piece of evidence is simply not logical. It does not line up with the evidence we have in the file. Simply, I kept a secret for so long. Also simply spills the tea three months before lunch. Okay, this is an exception, Jessica, and we won't do it again if you don't like it. <laughs> We had to explain that we're launching a collection. Otherwise, there would just be like a random truck in Raleigh and uh, people would be like, what the fuck? <laughs> It'd be announced and either way. So we're, we're doing it properly. Jessica, no! <laughs> Jessica, stop! <laughs> just finished a Manny with lat. Lat? Lat heckout. Late checkout, sorry. Whew. Reflective and a bat topper to celebrate. Thank you, Rachel. Got my vacation collection box. I'm wearing beach, please. It's the most beautiful polish. Yes, the sand is winning. I am very pleasantly surprised by how many people love the sand polish. I mean, I'm not surprised after seeing what happened in the Discord. You sand, like, eaters? Like, people eating sand? Sleeping in sand? Stop asking me because I, <laughs> I am not answering anything else. You're already getting so much information, like three months in advance, this never happens. <laughs> all right, all right, baddies. Bat tees with a T-T-I-E-S. Let's play games now. 
I'm gonna set up for Firewatch. Today we are playing Firewatch, new game to me. No spoilers, please. It's rated M for mature-ish, I think, but I don't get the sense it's like graphic violence horror, but maybe a little spooky to be left out in the woods or maybe there's some adult language, whatever that means to you. But you're welcome to read up on it to decide if you would like to watch or not. But I don't get the, it's not like Franbo. That's my new barometer. Is it ma mature and fucked up like Franbo or like not like Franbo? This is not like Frambo. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe like its appropriateness. But as always, you know, Google it. Hold up a second. So please no spoilers in the chat. This is a new game to me, so I don't know what's gonna happen. But if I do ask for help, then you're welcome to tell me, but try and just do it gently without being like, here's the entire ending plot. <laughs> Oh, I'm like sweating from all the excitement, you know what I mean? Let me just turn up the volume. Turn up the volume. This won't give away any spoilers, but did Saf want any colors formulas that you had to say? No? Okay, got too many questions, Taylor. We have three months and then probably talking a lot about it after. That's a great question for after we launch. <laughs> but you can always keep trying. Keep trying, keep using your member chats. <laughs> oh, and before we play the game, in case people are, are not into gaming, this weekend, I know I'm full of announcements, just wild. This weekend, we're going to Polish Mountain. This weekend, Saturday, we're going to Polish Mountain. Why? A question I will ask myself about two hours in but we're doing it live on stream this Saturday. I'm sorry mods, I'm sorry editors, I'm sorry chat. Well, no, I'm not sorry to the chat. They will love the torture. But yeah, we're going to Polish Mountain cause it's the sixth, seventh, I can't count, anniversary of Polish Mountain. So I'm gonna do a hundred layers of nail polish. <laughs> No! And I'm working on what I can do to make it kind of like fun and gamey and like maybe have some prizes or different milestones at how many coats or whatever. Working on those details, but yeah. Don't forget, come this Saturday and we'll be here for like maybe 12 hours, except you can only stream on YouTube for 12 hours before it doesn't save the VOD and it kicks you off the platform. So it can't be 12 hours. So we'll have to do a little bit of math about halfway in at 50 coats and see how long it's been and then extrapolate and decide whether or not I have to cut the stream and make a second one. This has never happened to me before. <laughs> oh my God. So yeah, too many announcements. We announced Sophia X Holotago. I'm going to Polish Mountain this Saturday. Next Saturday, me and Sophia are in a nail polish truck giving away free Holotago X Sophia polishes, just a small number of them in Raleigh, North Carolina. Like what's going on? There's also something else happening on Holo Taco. Maybe it's not as exciting as Sophia, but it is exciting. Still. <laughs> too much shit. What did I tell you? I said there's too much shit going on. And we just saw Taylor Swift. <laughs> I need tea. Announcements. There's too many. Like this is the problem. I know. Yeah, we've, we've been very busy. Okay, let's continue. Finally, let's play a calming game. Yeah? Okay, this is Firewatch. I hear we watch fires. New game. Me. I don't know if there's supposed to be audio yet. Please hold. 
The truck will not be live streamed, but Hollow Taco will be sharing stories on our Instagram slash Facebook stories the day of. So you can go to Hollow Taco stories next Saturday. Boulder, Colorado, 1975. I wasn't alive yet. You see Julia. This game is Firewatch. It's about being stranded in the wilderness in Wyoming. And our only line of communication is one person on a walkie-talkie. And I think the point is we have to figure out how to find them or how to go home or something. Thank you, Nico. Super nice, super chat. <laughs> uh, what polish would I recommend? Uh, her first holo taco. Okay, well, you have to get her two. You can't just get her one. Come on, that's not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> get a, a unicorn skin and a creme, her favorite color, or their favorite color. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. Is that a school? You, Henry, okay, we're Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. Oh, are we going to flirt or something? <laughs> you are drunk. It's like uh, May in Night of the Woods. So what's your major? So what's your, uh, you know, major? We're Henry. You slur the word major and it smells like Coors. <laughs> you give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says, and I'm a professor. Cool. You reply, what's yours? She asks. She sniffs the air. <laughs> Just like Menchie. <laughs> Toxicology? Was that a burn, you ask? She says, definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks you if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Oh, wow. The Whoa. Whoa. Thank you, AJ. Oh, that's a good combo too. It's like the beach and the ocean. We're in an elevator. That's not the wilderness. I was expecting to be in the wilderness. RT to use objects. Okay, backpack. Oh, I have hands. Did someone just get on? Oh, I wasn't done looking at my feet. I'm wearing a seat belt? No, that's a belt. It just looks like a seat belt. Can I press the buttons? Sound the alarm. Buttons don't do anything yet. <clears throat> I don't think Henry's nails are painted. All right, perimeter sweep crew, let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, G. Truck door, get in. Oh, that sounds sketchy. I'm not ready for that yet. I gotta look at the garbage. Is that beer? Can I open this? No. What's this? Whose locker is this? Can I go around? <gasps> oh. It doesn't appear that I can do anything here. So maybe I do need to get in the truck. You know, I had to try. Like, what if I miss a huge thing? What if I just say no truck? <laughs> I want to go on foot. Oh my god. No, no, I don't think it'll let me go. <laughs> the game, I don't have to listen to you. What if I don't have my license in this state? Okay, we're getting in the truck. 
You won't miss anything simply. This is the intro. Oh. Oops. <laughs> you date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. <gasps> it's like unpacking. Sort of. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. We drink beer all the time. Julia wants to get a dog. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. Can you do that? Thank you, Kenji. Happy birthday. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. So Julia definitely dies, right? <laughs> you adopt the shepherd and name him Mayhem. You pick up the beagle and she names him Bucket. Uh, let's get the beagle named Bucket. Bucket's a good dog, and a week later you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves- I feel- what are we doing? We're choosing between dogs here? Julia loves him, you love him too. What? 1979, that's three years later. You talk out on the deck, it's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids? Press A to abort! Abort! <laughs> no, let's go! Let's not do it! <laughs> no! Sorry, I didn't mean that, like, oh my god, I just... <laughs> I meant, like, the mission, not, <laughs> not the other way to interpret that. Wow, Christine, think a little. <laughs> the wording was wrong. That's not what I meant! Not what I meant! Oh my god! <laughs> I meant mission! <laughs> oh my god, I hate myself! How do I read it? Read it! Read it! <laughs> <laughs> Just don't hug the child. That's what I meant to say instead. Oh my god! <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> I will just read from now on. No, no, no clipping. YouTube clips suck. No one does it. It's fine. <laughs> what? Thank God we're not on Twitch. <laughs> Anyways, I will read only. What do you think about kids? She asks. Kids, they're not very smart <laughs> or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots. That would be pretty good. One day, why rush? I like how there's no option to say no. It's always eventually. Thank you, Union, for the five gifted memberships. Five lucky or unlucky people are now <laughs> part of the Menchie gang. She looks away out towards the mountains. We have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Don't worry, you assure her. You tell her she has the body of an undergrad. What? What does that mean? I, I don't answer that. My ovaries didn't get the memo, she says, laughing it off. One day, okay. What? Okay, one day, she says. Six months later, you get engaged lying in a bed on a Sunday morning. <laughs> and now we're lost. Do not forget to check in. You're in their country. Learn to live with bears. What's the accent in Wyoming? Probably not that. Thorough Ford Trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. Oh shit, we're gonna die. We're gonna die out here. She's a professor, she's older. She has fertility issues, but he still thinks she looks young. Okay, I understand. 
Yeah, but you could be a young professor. I didn't assume when it was like, you're a professor, therefore you're 54 years old. You know, like, I had lots of young, young lady profs. Two forks. All right, guys, screenshot this. We're gonna get lost. Do not forget to check in. Where do I check in? Help, I'm lost. So wait, we just got engaged and now I'm alone in a truck. They didn't explain that. Fire danger, uh-oh. It's high. <gasps> My title of this stream is true. Let's start fires together. What's this? Oh, hat. Cool. Examine. Put on. <laughs> I'm wearing a hat. All right, let's go, bitches. One, two, three, let's go, bitch. It's a Thursday night, and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. Getting angry? I would think like worried, stressed is the right word. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. That's not allowed! No! You're not allowed to have fun without me, woman. Professor, professor, you should know better. <laughs> what is this? What kind of game is this? You get mad, you ignore her. I want no options. None of these. I mean, I guess ignore her. It's the least of two evils. There's no fun allowed. Thank you, Grace. That's so kind. You don't touch each other all night. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. Not tea. Julia, 1981. Okay, we've been engaged for two years. A, a year and a half. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. What the fuck is a He-Man? You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. What is, so what's the difference? One of them were, what? Okay. We're a Victoria's Secret model. <laughs> I want a frolic. I don't really know, what do they mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Very nice, very nice, okay. <laughs> but why am I in the woods? Whoa, this color grading is intense. It's really throwing me off, like what? Everything is moldy purple. What did that say? Two forks lookout tower. Eight more miles still. Why are we in the woods? A to climb. Listen to us go. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. Okay, so we just take a bunch of walks alone, and then we get a little story about ourselves and Julia. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Uh-oh. Bucket gets kicked. No! No! Be be ba fuck it the dog. What? Be be ba fuck the... Sounds weird when you say it out loud like that. Julia yells, she gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. Me too! <laughs> oh my god, same Julia! <laughs> Me! Saying treasure troughs. And like, just the wrong things at all times. You confront the attacker, you scare him away, you beat his goddamn face in. No, we're gonna scare him, that's fine. You reach into your pocket like you've got a gun and threaten to kill him. You manage to scare all three of you. He runs away. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. Yeah, so would I. Terrified. I would just never leave the house again. <laughs> you say, okay, you don't want to go that way either, either. 
From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Waylaid. I've never seen that word. I mean, I can infer what it means. Like, it gets, gets put off, but I've never heard it. Is that a Wisconsin word? Waylaid. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not want to support her in her profession. You do not want to support her. Because what is our job? Has it said yet? Did I miss it? I could have totally missed it. Did it say what we do? Just out of curiosity. It's just for context. Hmm. Use waylaid in the UK? I don't think I've ever heard that. I don't think you know what he does yet. Okay. Convince her not to take the job. Agree if she commutes. Oh my god, look at these options. Like, okay, sir. M Henry! We're either gonna manipulate her and be like, you don't want to teach at Yale. What a shitty school. <laughs> I'm sure they don't pay well. <laughs> Isn't that like Ivy League? Yeah, no one wants to work there. I actually don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know American schools, so I'm just guessing here. Or agree if she commutes 2,000 miles every fucking night. Okay, both of these are bad options. Where's the divorce and the engagement? No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Like, okay, I guess I'll say this one. You ask her if she'll commute, 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 commute. If she'll commute back, back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. No. She says that'll be hard because it's really fucking far. <laughs> but she'll do it if you won't move. Wow, that's so nice of her. So unnecessary. You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. She's too good for us. 1985. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. What does lost it mean? I, I need more information. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. So she got upset thinking someone stole her books when they didn't. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. Duh. You make macaroni? <laughs> You make macaroni and cheese and drink wine and try to forget about it. It's fine. Okay, maybe we should talk to someone. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. Okay, there is an age. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Is that because she's like worried about her job or something? And now we're in the woods again alone. Does that say Col Goldman instead of Coleman? <laughs> Why can't I move? What? <laughs> Wait, what? Is this against TOS? What the heck? <laughs> what? What? Oh, that's what the rated M for mature is. <laughs> I did, uh, hello. What? Susan! It's fine. It's fine, Susan. I didn't even read what was in the journal. I, I missed it. <laughs> I, I missed the words. <laughs> What's happening out here? Okay. It's the picture she drew of us. Oh my god. It, it's us. Bucket is getting older. Okay, Julia comments that it's kinda nice cause he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to university. 1987, Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. 
She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason. Okay, well, we need to help her and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Why aren't we go like, why aren't we there? <laughs> like, why are we just sitting back home in fucking Wisconsin or wherever we are, Boulder, Colorado? Some days you, you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. Wait, is the first one supposed to be good? <laughs> okay. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home. Wow, that's so nice of them to make trips to visit her. From Australia? Like, literally the furthest thing ever. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1988, Simply and Illogical was born. It was a trying time for her parents because she wouldn't shut the fuck up, little Canadian lady. She came out of the womb and she said, I want hollow. Is it real hollow? Okay, then after that event, you spent your days following Julia around the house. I am I am having fun on purpose because this is sad. Yes, if that was not obvious. I do this in games. If you have not gamed with me before, uh, that is what my brain does to make things less sad. Some people actually like it. They like that because they, they prefer it. Other people just want to be sad. <laughs> so they don't want it, but you know, different gamers for different people. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple months. Why are we waiting a couple months? We're just sitting down for a couple months. Ben, if you want to be sad, go listen to Mitski or whatever is like the most saddest music. Ben, who admitted on the last podcast that he only wants to listen to sad music. Not everyone wants to be depressed all the time, although I do like depressing games, but I also want to have some levity in them. That's the tea. Everyone grab, grab a cup of tea or water. We're not crying today. We are, this, today's a good day. Ben is a sad girly. <laughs> All right, you decide to move her into a full-time care. You are determined to take, take care of her by her, your, blah, 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 yourself. Uh, I don't think we are the right person for this based on everything I just read. We will get her the proper support, which is not us, because we are an asshole. Am I the asshole? Yes. We. Edith Finch, is that you? It's way too bright. Oh, hello, tree. so cute <laughs> her family agrees with your decision you find a fantastic place in boulder and move her there you see her every day then every other day then once a month then never again let me get, predict this story you go out to the bar with your old friends it's not the same you get the feeling that every wife tells her husband if you ever put me in a home like henry did i will cut your balls off <laughs> You slowly decide to not see your old friends that much. 1989. Taylor Swift. Wait, is that right? Yeah, it is. That's the year that's on Ben's hat, right? Am I making that shit up? That's when she was born, right? Yeah. I'm a proxy Swifty. I'm tangentially related to a Swifty. <laughs> Anyways, Julia's sister, Susan! 
<laughs> Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. That's that's why she retired as CEO of YouTube. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't see a therapist, so you're gonna tap on an old typewriter. Well, it's 1989. You've always really liked Susan. I love Susan. Well, not that much, but like as a sister, you know? Months go by. Bucket dad. No! Not bucket! <laughs> no! <laughs> Just, like, what? Just, like, two words about bucket. Come on, man. Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you think. Summer's coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. Oh, we have been unemployed this whole time, I think. You take it. What is it? A wilderness tour guide. All right, let's see. Is this the beginning of the game? I think so. Enter the lookout tower. Okay, my first task. Let's see if I can get up these steps. Let's go. Whee! Oh, it's pretty out here. All alone. I don't think we ever get to see Julia. I think the game is literally just us, dipshit Henry, alone. Very pretty graphics. Look at the trees. How they're slowly moving. Like, come on. It's pretty cool. Just take a moment, chat. Look at those gently moving trees. Yes, I know there's a door. I'm choosing to go around. <laughs> oh! Propane. Can I explode them? Start a fire? I gotta hold my promise. Okay, let's go back to the door. Look at all that nature. It's not for you guys. You guys hate nature. This is the chat, the customer base that hates nature. Colors. I know it. Statistics show it. <laughs> door open. Well, no. Turn on the power. Oh, it's just like phasmophobia. Oh, that's not the power. Light switch doesn't work. We need a generator or like the electrical switch flippy thing. Water. Mm. Books. Oh, here, generator switch. Light switch. Okay, we got it. Look at this. Hello, Two Forks Tower. <gasps> Hello? What? Delilah? Did it say Delilah? Hey there, Delilah, in Marmarna, New York City. Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. No, 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 no. And your voice looks so pretty. Yes, it does. I know you're there. Your lights are on. You fucking creep. Excuse me. Are you stalking me? <gasps> oh, he's so cute. Hold LT to activate radio. Hello? Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy hey said there. on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Excuse what? me? <laughs> People take this job to get away from something. So what's wrong? Okay, invasive. What's wrong with you? <laughs> That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine. Then can I like, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Okay, Delilah, fucking chill. Like, what kind of mind games is this, Delilah? 
I want to talk to your superior. Reply. Oh, I guess I have to reply. Uh. You're just gonna wait me out on this? Uh, Ugh, no. Fine. I'm trying to reply. <laughs> but I'm gonna take a second here and have a guess about you. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I tried I to reply, I swear. you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of I, bullshit I don't know how to write. Out in the woods. <laughs> what are you talking about? Good night. Welcome to the job. Fire watch. Boom. Boom. Day one. Loading. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> You probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Delilah, stop stalking me. Okay, I need to figure out how to answer a fucking radio call. Okay. Activate, I and then how do I... Okay, there. Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Woo. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it, that hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. What is the There's job? There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Warner Brothers? Osborne. <laughs> you use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? What's west? Oh! Are those fucking- Fireworks? Which way's west? Oh, I gotta use my compass? Oh, this way's west. Is this west? <laughs> I need you to confirm. Do you see Fuck? them? <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah, this is west, right? Is that what that means? Yeah, that's west. I don't see Seriously, anything. Seriously, are you seeing this? Oh, I do. Yeah. Delilah. I saw them for like a second. Uh... Okay, calm your shit. Whoa, that's not legal, right? <laughs> uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. What if I don't wanna? Do you think you can handle that? No. I'm sorry it's not in the job description. Do I write him a ticket? <laughs> Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The Find code rope is in box. 1234. 1234. It's actually that okay. for all of them. What do I do with the soap? Do I clean my... I'm gonna clean your dirty mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Delilah. Okay. It, like, I feel like there's other things I should do. Like, do I need a drink of water? I guess not. Grass cleaner. Sterilex spray cleaner. Okay. We got a pencil sharpener. Oil soap. Oil soap. Okay. Books, the singular mind. Is that because we're alone? Death strikes at two. Is that a sign? I'm scared. Put it back. Throw it up. Glory. Ben, is this for your next your next book club? Oh, I already I already got that one. Okay. Thermos. Can I take it with me? Manly thermos, guys. It's manly. It's for Henry. Fuck you, thermos. Toolbox. No, I don't want that. Okay. It won't let me pick up the toolbox. 
Uh, nothing in these cupboards. Can I just go to sleep? Be like, fuck you, Delilah. Truck Alaska. Truck yeah. Mmm, trees. Flora of the Shoshone poster. Mm, there's my hat. Should I put my hat on? Yeah. Boop. Uh, she said something about bringing a rope. If we trust her. Like, what if she's just, like, the guy who ran Saw, you know? And she's just fucking with us. I don't trust someone named Delilah. Coffee percolator. What is a percolator? Like, it makes coffee? Do you want pasta or pizza for dinner? Pasta or pizza? Which one? Uh, make a poll, Ben. Can you make a poll? <laughs> Cast iron pan? Oh, I have one of those, but I think it was fake. Bleach. Chlortox. <laughs> I shouldn't just throw it. <laughs> like, why? Why does it fit on the ground? Okay, put it like... There you go. Firewood. Old wood stove. Can't do anything. Supplies. I can't check him out. Uh, desk drawer. Oh, what's this? A love note? Oh, it's a map! Doom Canyon, Lake of Acid, <gasps> Death Mountain. Okay, she is crazy. Do not trust Delilah. Witch's house, Scorched Lands. This is a uh, Franbo. Hey, there's a map in my tower that I'm pretty sure is not USGS regulation, um, unless I've. We're definitely tattletaling. I've been assigned to work in two orcs, and the lake to the east is made of acid. Uh, that sounds erroneous. Looks like the previous resident was into fantasy. Photo with Julia. <gasps> is that us and Julia? We still don't see what she looks like. Why do I drop it like that? Oh my god, I'm such a dick. <laughs> I'm a dick. Pine cone? What the fuck am I gonna do with this? I can't really put things in my bag, eh? It's just drop or examine. Fuck you, pine cone. Aw, poor pine cone. Okay, let's put it on the desk. <laughs> Stop! Like, why? No! <laughs> I don't want it to fall. What is wrong with me? Okay, there we go. <laughs> no! <sighs> okay, I didn't see any ropes. The fuck is this, little smiley? Alright, let's take our bag. Oh, I can't take my bag. Oh, I- alright, I took my bag. I think we're gonna start a forest fire. Okay, what does the poll say? 55% pasta. We got 55% Italians. 54% Italians. But pinza is also Italian, isn't it? Actually, I have no idea what I'm saying. Just an Italian person told us about it. <laughs> Look for the ropes. Okay, I'm looking. Where's the ropes? Did I miss it? I missed it. I was distracted by the pizza. Sophia! <laughs> Girl! Where's my ropes? Is it around the tower? The heck? They're in a box on your way. Okay, all right. This is what happens. Do a flip? I don't think I can. I don't have any abilities to do a flip that I'm aware of. Do we see a box with ropes? Not here. Okay, I guess it's on the ground. If 
Find rope in NFS cash box 306. So that's where we are. Cash box is left. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh oh. Left, which is. Oh my god. I'm gonna totally embarrass myself. I haven't used a compass since I went to camp, which was like 18 years ago. Or when I had a car that had a compass, which was also like 18 years ago. So that's north. No. Hold on. We'll figure it out. <laughs> that's north. And now we have to go west, so we have to go left this way. We'll figure it out, chat. How do I hop over? It won't let me hop there. Do I have to put my map away? Oh. Okay, it's this way. Jonesy Lake, miles west. I think we're gonna get lost. Lose yourself in the wilderness. I think we deserve to be lost, honestly. <laughs> At least the game appears to be helping us because there's a very clear path. Unless it's misdirecting us like I do with information about Hollow Taco. Uh oh. Is this the right way or the wrong way? Oh no! It's the wrong way! Wait, what did that say? Blocked trail. Okay. Why are you running? Why not? We're trying to speed run the forest. Whee! Running, 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 I'm running, running. Woo! Running, running. Woo! Clawed up tree. <gasps> Who did it? Report? Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Yeah, we're very and concerned for the tree. And grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. Oh, good. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Great. Don't you think that's disconcerting? <gasps> no, Henry, that's life. Am I gonna die? Christ, lady. Shale slide, it's steep. What happens if I go off it? Do I die? That way is- I am going west. What happens? Will I die? Oh, it won't even let me go. <laughs> oh, there's the rope. Duh. It's my carabiner. Wait, how come I can't use it? What? Let me use it. You missed the rope. Well, fuck. I missed the rope. Okay. Is that smoke? That was so weird. Okay, I missed the rope. Where's the rope? I was too busy running in the forest, you know? I was like, I have freedom. <laughs> Like, did they say it was in a box? They just left a random box? What's this? 
not a rope. Look at my map. I'm so close to the 306. I'm basically at the 306. Okay, where's the rope? <laughs> Hello. Mr. Rope. Oh, there it is. Mysterious box. Supply cash. Uh I found the supply box. I found the supply box. Great. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. Copy information. Map updated. Okay. Hey man, Ron. Hey man, guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked. Hiking into the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back. Dave! Dave! Uh. <laughs> Keep. So many pine cones. Granola bar. Oh, I love granola. Eat it. Eat it? Should we eat it? Uh. Okay, let's eat it. Old rope. Take it. Deal with whoever is setting off fireworks. Got it. I'm the man. Anything else? Close. Okay, where were we? Speed run and then the full wrist. Uh, uh oh. I'm lost. <laughs> this way. <laughs> this is the worst game. You need it for later? Oops. I would have saved it, but there was no option to save unless I just left it there, I guess. Medicine wheel. What does that mean? Over to the right? It's telling me there's something. We gotta go west. You do not want me to help you with directions. Like, <laughs> why am I in a wall? <laughs> That's what said was. <laughs> oh no. <sighs> Hello? I need help. <laughs> and help me, I'm lost. Okay, what, what were. <laughs> Pasta won at 56%. Pasta it is for dinner, everybody. If we ever play. Oh, this looks promising. Does it? Wait, what? No! Oh! It was a trap. What the fuck? None of this looks familiar. <laughs> we're, we're lost. We're lost, but we're getting pasta. Don't worry about a thing. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be me. Down, down. We're just gonna go back. And then we're gonna retrace our steps and figure out where we went wrong. Okay, let's let's try this again. Okay. All right, where the fuck are we? Look how much terrain we've covered. We're experts at this. Look at the map and actually use the compass. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> I just 
I hate it. Okay. Uh, compass. Compussy. Let me use my compussy. Okay, we gotta go west. Which is that way. If I leave my compass open, then it will help me. My compussy. You can't run with it, though. But I feel like I need it. By the time we get there, they will have lit the entire forest on fire and we will be fired from our jobs because we don't know how to track anything. <laughs> no, it's simply not the compussy. It's the compussy, I see. I can't read the compussy. It says west. Oh, we're back where we started. But I feel like there's no way. Why does it keep saying medicine wheel? What does it mean? You're gonna get fired? Whoa, is that a bird? No, it's a leaf. I like how this is our main mission. Hello? Is that a leaf? But like, what happened to Julia? Like, where's that storyline? You know what I mean? Okay. I'm in a rock again. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I, I'm just trying to go west. <laughs> How do I go west? You can't go over it. Can't go around it. Gotta go under it. Gotta go through it. This way. This could be it. I take it you fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort? Shh. When it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here? Shut up, Delilah. We're busy. How do I reply again? Anyway... Thanks to last summer, we got a bump in Forest Service budget and can actually afford to have you. Oh, here it is. What happened, what happened last, last summer? summer that accounted for this, um... Windfall. Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Yellowstone is like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. I mean, what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the game? No, 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 no. <laughs> did I do that? Was that, was that me or the game? Just tell me it was supposed to happen. <laughs> report! Report! How do I report? Owie! Hey. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. I'm sorry. Wow, look at that. We did we did that. Okay. But we're a man, so we're gonna keep going. How do I talk to her? Hello? I can't say anything now. Okay. Where are those goddamn firework people? Old climbing gear. Steal it. Nothing? Oh. How come I can't... Uh, hey, there's a tie-off point up here just a little way from the shale slide. Oh, you ready to get back on that horse, huh? Well, I can't go any further is what I'm saying. That heads south down to the creek, but you should be able to get to the lake just by continuing west. Without any, you know, mountaineering. Just right. walk. It's a long summer. You can explore later. She said walk, bitch. By continuing west. Which is this way. Dun 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 dun
Okay, I am not alone at forgetting how to read maps. Listen, people. I bet like 80% of you can't read a map either. <laughs> because, let me explain. Because we just use Google Maps or Apple Maps or CarNav or whatever to just tell us where to go. Like, I can't think. Okay, just tell me where to go. Is something north or south facing? I don't know. I don't care. Just like enter it in Google and it'll tell me. <laughs> ben, do a poll. Can you actually honestly read one of those giant paper maps without any assistance and easily navigate or do you rely on a computer navigator like everyone in the modern century? Be honest. <laughs> it's MapQuest. <laughs> I miss MapQuest days. Brood in Wyoming, Red Eagle. Can I drink it? Clean up, hold. Okay, I'll clean it up. I thought it was gonna be like, drink. Ben will do a poll after he finishes making pasta. He's making pasta and we're cleaning up beer. These are gender rules, everybody. Take notes. Pick up the beer, clean it. Any other beer? I liked that, I wanna keep doing that. <laughs> That's something I know how to do. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, remember, uh, yeah, Kelly, last name. Remember printing out your MapQuest paper and taking it with you? Yes, but just like I used to memorize my multiplication tables, it became unnecessary. And it's been 18 years, so like now I don't do it, you know, because I just, I have Excel. Like, why would I memorize all that shit when I can have a computer do it for me. Just like, why do I need to remember how to print out maps when Google just tells me where to go, you know? And then I can focus on living my life. Let Google tell me where the fuck to go, you know? It's about living your life. Well, they left their packs tied up here. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Well, maybe they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I think that? I'm just like, oh, I found their stuff. They're definitely dead. Ah, that was just a leaf. Is that hot sauce? A oh, whiskey. Oh shit, ferret or Irish? Do we like it? Should we drink it? Save for later. Steal it. It's ours now, beach. Campfire. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? I don't know how to read. Can't read a map. Can't read a sign. Fireworks? Magic missile? <laughs> what, screaming wife? Ah! I feel like our character would like that, Henry. Uh, confiscate? Oh, I thought it was gonna be like, set them off. Okay, any other beer cans? Beer cans. Just their packs, we cleaned up their mess, silly little children. We are detectives, not survivalists, exactly. Oh my God, is that a bra? A bra. I found a bra. What do I do with it? A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Remain professional, detectives. Is it Victoria's Secret? Or are we gonna frolic? What's this? <gasps> Pair of panties! These are not young men. <laughs> what? Just, why am I touching them? Ew! Why, why am I touching them? Call for help. Report underwear. Uh, there are, uh... Panties. Maybe it's or Delilah's. What? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? Panties? I think we're 12. I think this is all Delilah's. Like, that'd be a big plot twist. Like, she was messing with us, you know? Another pair of panties? There's a... Uh, ooh. Yes? 
another bra. I should I head back. Just head back. Let's see what she you says. Should probably tell these people <laughs> okay, off and think. then head back. But and if you <gasps> see a penis, you're gonna have to deal with that too. No, see there. Just deal with it, Henry. Okay, this is strange coworker behavior. Like, if I just met my coworker and they said things like this, I'd be like, this is not a, not the ideal intro to working environment. We're not friends yet. You know what I mean? What is happening? What in the dance party in the woods is this? Teens, they are drunk. We can't look at them. Hey, you fucking kids. I found them in the lake. I found them in the lake. Yeah, we shouldn't go over there. Delilah, come do your job. Delilah! Hey there, Delilah. Come the fuck down the mountain. Please report the teenage ladies and deal with them yourself. Because we're a man name Henry and that would be highly inappropriate if we went up to these teenage ladies Delilah do you hear me come fucking do your job <laughs> am I gonna get copyright claim I don't even know what song this is Full stereo. I don't want to look at them Seriously, examine fucking cool it with the fireworks please just put it down we won't light it yeah. <laughs> you probably have a tiny dick. Chelsea, <clears throat> it's my boom box. Can we go? What is it with teenagers? Like, why would you, like, what? Because I am the, like, marshal of the mountain. I'm a sad man. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Find a way back to Two Forks Lookout. That's it? I thought we had to, like, arrest them. Can I go swimming? Hey, that go okay? I hope they drown. I didn't mean to pick I don't that. I think anyone would mourn a couple of future arsonists. Just gonna go ahead and not log that as a threat. Thanks. But seriously though, thanks for dealing with it. I don't even see them. I think they did drown. Is that a duck? Where'd they go? Okay, bye ladies. What is happening? This game is wild. So much has happened. We just got here. <laughs> what? Okay, where did she tell me to go? Find a way back to Two Forks Lookout. Two Forks. All the way back. <gasps> Ooh, can we go up that way? Thunder Canyon? Yeah, let's do that. Just for fun. Could have just like turned off their boombox. But we didn't. Yeah, let's go up Thunder Canyon and then go back around to Two Forks Lookout. Um, if they connect. If they don't, then we're really fucked. But let's see. I don't think we can take the boombox. There was no option to take unless I missed it. It just said like, put it down. Can I walk on water? <gasps> I'm Jesus confirmed. We can get the boombox? Okay, sorry. My bad. All right, let's go back until we get too far. I had a crazy dream yesterday like that. I guess I was just like, I had so much to do for today. And uh, I had a dream that before I was gonna do the Polish Mountain stream, which is coming up this Saturday, we like Ben and I had to go get something and I thought it would be like a two minute car ride and I was already late for a stream. And then he was like, no, we have to go over here. And I was like, why? And then I looked at the Google map and realized that the time it would take to get there and back would be like an hour and 25 minutes. See, there is no keep. See, I just have to carry it with me. I guess we can just take it with us. All right, we're just stealing it. <laughs> we're doing music crimes. It's mine now, bitches. One, two, three. I steal your boombox. Is this copyright music? Can anyone tell? It sounds like good. Like, why does it sound like good 80s music? 
because this will be very annoying for VOD watchers if this is all quiet. Does anyone know? Is this a real song or are we all too young to know this? Is this a real song? Like, I d it sounds like good, but I don't know. Someone Shazam this, go. I have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Our nails are naked. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. This is a lot, lady. We just met. Lady. Ma'am. Okay, the, some people think it's Kate Bush. Did I drop the stereo? I didn't mean to. Whoa, a cave. Oh, I cannot crouch. Where am I on the map? A great question. The boombox song is Cheap Talk by Push Play, so it's a real song? <gasps> I'm sorry, VOD watchers. That entire section probably got muted because of copyright music. I wish there was a streaming. I should have. I swear there wasn't. There was not, correct? Yeah. There's just like, you can turn the music down, but there's no um, streamer friendly setting. It's because it doesn't matter as much on Twitch, no, or no one seems to care, or it doesn't mean enforced, but like streaming on YouTube is new ish, but they haven't really adapted. And this game is from 2016. Okay, where are we? We're up here and we have to get back down to Two Forks so we could keep going up this fun river and then head down. South? Down. South. <laughs> Every game should have that? Yes, I agree, but I also understand game developers like aren't always thinking of that because they don't really care because they're not necessarily making games for streamers you know what I mean am I going the right way fuck I have to go east yes I am going the right way slowly we will learn how to read a map today you're always learning things with me it's amazing so what was the poll 60% of you say you can read a map I don't believe it <laughs> the fuck was that? <gasps> Nearby storm? Stream people say it's not copyright. Yeah, but a lot of things people say aren't copyright end up getting copyrighted by the, like, uh, the record label even if that artist had said their music isn't. So it doesn't really matter. And then like, I'm not gonna sue them. So I just uh, say, okay, just mute the audio so you don't claim my entire stream. And I just, you know, that's the easiest, quickest solution. It just means that there's blank spots for VOD listeners. Unless they totally block my stream, which happened last time. That was very annoying. One, two, three, four. So what happened to Julia? Like, hello? We just forgot all about her. <laughs> we're like, we're just on a side mission that is the entire game. Copy. Copy, paste. Map updated. Got it. Wait, no. Open it again. Flashlight. Thank you. Oh, it doesn't work. Hello? Ah. Ooh, we could see our nails. Hollow. A horn? Uh-oh. Do I have to fight? I don't want to drop it. Should I drop it? 
Use RS to toggle flashlight. Okay, cool. What what do I do with this? It's mega rare labels wave a copyright claim. Yeah, I know, they never do. So I just end up giving in and I'm just like, okay, mute it then, bitch. <laughs> like I don't I don't wanna fight. Just mute it. But it's just very annoying for VOD watchers. Cave? Am I supposed to go in the cave? Oh my god, I'm scared. <gasps> Are there bats? Sophia! I guys, I, t I found Sophia in this cave. Where is she? Come on, girl. Come on out. Show us your collection. Let's go. Cave is closed. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. So, Although, Debbie keys. says she lost them like three years ago, so... <laughs> Maybe it's mysteries are locked away for good. Uh, that's too bad. I used to go caving in Colorado a lot with someone. Would be really nice to pick that back up. With someone? On memories, huh? Big time. I'll uh, I'll keep an eye out for those keys. With just Don't someone. Okay, well, now it's night. Where the fuck am I? Okay, we're close. We just gotta go south, which is right. Slowly, we will learn how to read a map. Ride a horse, read a map. <gasps> the fuck is- excuse me! There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. How do we know uh, it's a guy? Creeps. Oh. Yeah, I came out of this cave in a canyon and he was just- Creeping? Wait, Sir. he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I- I don't think so. Henry, there's- there's something I- Something someone should have told you about this area. What? What is it? It's outside. What come the on. fuck? The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's 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 madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. No, it's not. I come out here for no people. Delilah. Hey there. This game is a warning to not go outside. <laughs> like, who was who was that man? Who was that man? You look mighty creepy. Crepe. A little crep crap. Crepe? Well, we could go this way. Or this is where the guy was, right? Is he gonna push me off the cliff? Imagine. Sir. Drop down? Should I? Just for fun. How much further can I drop down? Where are we going? That's the question. We always ask ourselves, I'm back at the start of where I came from. I don't know where I am anymore. I don't know how to read a map. It's kind of sad. I need help. Where's the creepy man or Delilah? <laughs> Are we tired? Like, holy shit. Climbing. Okay, this looks promising. Very dangerous. I would never climb with my nails. Whee! I could never be a climber because of my nails. You know? It's just, it's not in the cards for me. Is the ghost of your wife haunting us? Interesting. Is she dead? That was Karma. Karma is my boyfriend. Karma's a cat sitting in my lap. His name's Zyler the cat. Yeah.
We're close. We just gotta keep going in between. We gotta keep going north, which is this way. No, this way, this way. This is where we came from. Hey there, this is what you came for. Lightning strikes every time you move. So we have to go back this way, right? Am I reading this correctly? Yeah. No, no, other way. <laughs> we, we have to go south. Oh my god, I almost fucked myself up. <laughs> you have the map upside down. Turn it around. South is like this way. Just keep the map out. Simply is becoming a Swifty. Well, ever since listening to three hours of her, yes, there is a couple lines that are in my brain. Boo. What? We passed it. Fuck. Go back. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely out here in the fucking woods. Turn around. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Something in my throat. <laughs> Turn around. Pay a fucking attention to where you're going. Simply doesn't know where she is. Turn around. Bright hollow. Every now and then I fall apart. I gotta pee though. Can I pee? Um, so it's uh, oh just my the god outhouse then in terms of going to the bathroom. You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Great. Good to know. Generator. <laughs> so this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and well, uh, you don't have much in the way of electronics. What so. is this? That's terrifying. You know, I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. What kind of name is Forrest Burns anyway? Well, the Forrest pun, Burns. Hank. A glorious pun. I went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? Butts. <laughs> I didn't think anyone had been named Royal since the 1850s. Uh, excuse me, hollow royalty. <laughs> Hello. Have you not heard? Come on now. Let's go. I'm going up to my office with my typewriter. I'm going to write all about my shitty day. Well, what's with this fucking trance music? Report vandalism. Oh, shit. They broke into my house. <gasps> oh no. Those fucking ladies. No! <laughs> Why? I want to put it down nicely. There we go. Someone broke in. It was Delilah. What? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um. I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Oh, she sounds sussy. Okay, Delilah did it. Delilah did it. Is that us? Do we write that? My dad had a friend in high school named Rusty Fawcett. <laughs> okay, I put in a call. What can they well, what do? What can they do about it? Will they catch whoever did it? 
This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii 5 -0. Broken clock. What time is it? Do you have any idea who would have done this? I don't trust her. Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. Yes, you can. I worry can. about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts. Great. Maybe it was a bear. <sighs> okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel <laughs> safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun... It was kind of a bad idea. Smart Grenades. people. I'll see what I can do. Day two. <laughs> Doo -doo. It's like the Law and Order clock. Choo -choo. Wake up. I do hey, not trust up. her. I don't trust Delilah at all. Not because she's named after that song, Hey There, Delilah, and like that was always a little sketchy, you know? Um, I think she did it. I think she's doing all of it. I think she's messing with her head. I think this is a fake job. This is not a real job. What am I supposed to do? Whiskey? Drink. Mug. Tea. How come I can't do anything yet? There we go. I'm wide awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. You're lying! Don't fucking lie to me. There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So, that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger, and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It sounds like she's making us do more work, little bitch. Mug. Desk drawer. Anything. Dice. Roll it. Okay. <gasps> My hat! And by the way... I'm going out tonight <laughs> in the forest. Can't find myself or Delilah. I think she's a liar. I don't want to call her. Don't call her. Don't call her. Okay, wait. Where are we going? Survey communication lines north of the canyon. Survey communication lines. Is it supposed to say that on the map? No, they're telling us to survey the communication lines, right? Not <laughs> fuck. <laughs> the black dot, the little lock. How do you know that? Unless you've played... Oh, the telephone line. Oh, telephone line is a perforated line. So it has to be, like, way up there. Oh, yeah, it says telephone. So I have to go to anywhere along that telephone line. I think, right? Is 
So I have to go north. North and a little bit east. She said go through the cave. Oh. Mm. But it's kind of that way. Okay, whatever. Let's just follow the path it's given us and then go off. Go off. No, I should be going the other way. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh my god, I'm so lost. <laughs> I hate it. This way. Uh, no one come with me to Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, I will not know where to go, okay? You're not coming in my car. Because we will not get there. If you come with me. Please make sure to use Google Maps. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're on a better track. We just have to make sure we go north. Which is... Fuck, the other way? What? <laughs> What? This way. That's where we came from. This is where we came from. Lightning. Like, what is wrong with me? I can't read maps. Okay, there. I'm getting it. We want to go up the red line. And then... That way. So, let's go this way. Sure. Blech. Ooh, Smoky Hollows. That's a location on the truck stop. I didn't believe it either. I was like, actually, that's a place. What the fuck? Which way? Doesn't really matter. They both go the same... same way. Can you die in this game? I'm not sure, but if you can, I'm sure I will find that out soon. <laughs> If anyone figures out how to die in a game that's rare to die in, it will be me. Okay, did you see me play Dream Daddy? Yeah. A lot of people don't even know you can die in Dream Daddy. But I did. So, there you go. Come with me if you want to die. <laughs> that should be like my new catchphrase for playing games. Come with me if you want to die. Like, where the fuck are we? Oh, the cave. Sophia! Whoa, it's creepy. <gasps> creepy! Cold morning fog. Report! Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Why are we reporting this? Roger that. It's cold. It warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Julia. I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, 
So you have someone there? Well... But you're taking a little break. Or... We're... <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. Can you hold that thought? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, yo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Who are you talking to? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Uh -huh. Anyway, uh, uh -huh. Julia, girlfriend, ex? Sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. Yes, you do. Who was that? Who was that man? Who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, don't give it away. What? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. Oh no, we put her off. Damn it, we shouldn't have... Shouldn't have asked. Don't ask the crazy lady why she's crazy. Okay, we're following the map. Delilah's annoyed. Good. We. I hate her. <laughs> hey there, Delilah. Did I annoy you with my stories? It's okay. I think that you're the one who's trying to kill me in the woods. You sound pretty sussy. Give me a compussy. <laughs> And I don't know if I should trust you because you're a little crazy little old little lady. Actually, I don't know your age, but you're kind of fucking funny. Yes, you are. <laughs> I'd like to go drink beer at a bar after dark. Okay, there's communication lines somewhere. Survey communication lines north of the canyon. We are north of the canyon by communication lines. Uh, there they are. Let's go survey them. What should we ask them? Uh, hello, communication line. We are doing a questionnaire. And uh, first I would like to know, um, what is your name? How many other survey lines are in your household? Are you answering on their behalf or just yours? How many electrical uh, activities did you have in the last 12 months? How frequent were those electrical activities? You know, we're just doing a little survey. If you could answer that, be very kind. Your data it will be aggregated, so it will be anonymous and not for personal use. You can trust us. How the fuck do I serve it? You... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to call. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Why am I listening to her? Okay, follow it back to the top? Which top? There's two ways. Delilah? Delire? That's, that's what she is. Her name is Delire. Hey there, Delire. <laughs> well, I can't go. Oh, what was that? So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. Check the compussy. Oh, am I going south? I should be going the other way. I'm going south! You're going the wrong way! <laughs> what did they say this game would take four hours? Uh-uh, I don't think so. It's gonna take 18. How long is Polish Mountain gonna take? That's a better question. 
I am not prepared for this Saturday. This is practice. We're climbing a mountain. What was that? How come I can't walk here? The heck? There's a glitch. It won't let me walk towards it. Okay, weird. Are we supposed to follow it that way? Yes. Long drop down. Hold on, everybody. Wow, my feet hurt. Do your feet hurt from watching this? I'm just like, oh my god. I hope I put my memory soles in my hiking boots. My feet are so tender right now. There's a yellow box up there. Let's go get them. I don't know if I can climb up. Hello? Yellow box. One, two, three, four. Thank you for more information. Flora, what's this? Seven thirty. 86. Dave, hey -o. I got your note about reading. Needing to talk. Sorry I didn't track you down. I've been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon helping the grad students, but I guess not. I don't know how I could really help. Anyways, we're co-workers, you know? Amigos professionals. If you need someone to throw back a case with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy. But I'm not great with this life stuff. You get it. Later. Wait, can I take it? It. Oh, I already read it. Keep it. Board. What what did I use it for? <clears throat> A book. Six feet down under? Oh god. Okay, I'll keep the board. Or wait, I should probably close that thing first, right? Close. Sorry, the book's just gonna hang out outside. It's fine. Okay. Uh, oh no, I can't look at my compass. Hold on. <laughs> look how north we are. But we gotta go south, actually, and then north. So if south is backwards. Yeah, we're just hanging out with our f new friend, the plank. Don't know what he's gonna be useful for, but... I think something, right? Like, they wouldn't give us a wood plank for no reason, would they? What is it for? What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh. This is for the best. My nappy look, it's big. My reputation's never been worse, so you must like me for me. Beer. 
here. <gasps> a clue. <laughs> what happened to my wood board? Oh, it's still in my hand. Is that a beer? Hey, so there are beer cans all over the ground up here leading up the hill. That's annoying. Yeah, thing is, there were a bunch down at that campsite yesterday. Coincidence, maybe? I don't think so. Same brand, everything. These fucking kids. It's all connected. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. I'm gonna smack him with my plank. <laughs> Why wouldn't it let me pick this up? I just want to clean! I want to clean! Okay. I can clean that one. Do I get points for this? Do I get a raise for every beer can I clean? I think Delilah is the teenage girls. I mean, Delire. Delire is the teenage girls. <gasps> Fire. Beard. Please tell me I get something for cleaning all this. Because <laughs> it's very distracting. <laughs> Guys, we're going off course. We're doing too much cleaning. Oh no. See, I'm getting lost because I'm cleaning. Oh. It's a trap. It's a trap. Don't clean your room. See? Where'd I put my plank? <laughs> there it is. Pasta, not pizza. Mm. Oh, do you want some? Thanks, man. Wow, this looks good. Oh, it's steamy. Very hot. Do you want to help me look for five minutes while I eat? No. Okay. Who wants some? Um, who wants dinner? It's very hot. It's smoking. Be careful. Don't put it in your mouth that quickly. You gotta let it cool. You're gonna burn yourself. I did that yesterday. I have a spot on the top of my lip. I think I was eating like eggs. <laughs> I ate eggs. But I had just put it in the microwave because it was like a wrap thing. And then I felt like I burnt, like, on my lip, and now I can see it. Like, there's definitely a, like, a spot that feels numb. Like, not inside my mouth, like, on my lip. And I'm just like, fuck! <laughs> I just, like, was so hungry, I ate the wrap in the microwave, and I was like, ow! <laughs> it's that hot. It happens. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I burnt myself on egg. It, it was like a wrap. <laughs> but I put it in the microwave. Oops. It's shrimp scampolini! <gasps> How could we forget, chat? It's shrimp scampolini. We're just taking a little break. I hear they have great pasta in the woods. There's no shrimp. There's only scamp. Oh my god. Is that shrimp? No. Ben, what is that? Is that lobster? Sir. It's lobster scampolini. I'll tell you what it's like here. I'll, let me get you a better view. There, here's your view. <laughs>
It's poached lobster and confit tomato pasta. Excuse me, Ben, when did you become chef? Yeah. Chef Gordon Ban. Chef Boyer Ban. I think I just saw you at the top of Beartooth Point. Was everything okay up there? Nope. Those drunk dumbasses cut the comms wire and left a pair of their whites as a calling card. I'm sorry, what? I'm gonna go find them. I do uh, well, good. And also, why don't you call me the next time you find something like that? No, bitch. I was just trying to be a self-starter. says find the teenagers oh do i have to find the teens where why can't we just let them find themselves you know what i mean don't find the teenagers they'll find themselves i'll take my plank and uh we'll find the teens just me and my plank Making my way downtown with my plank, walking fast. Hope I don't fall off on my ass. Don't know where to go. I'm so slow. I had dinner. It was good. <laughs> yeah, it's also very suspicious. Oh, what the fuck is that? Guess the fuck. That she wants us to report everything. Like, lady, do your own job, you know? What is this? Come on, monkey. Brian Goodwin? Uh-oh, is he okay? Is he dead? <gasps> we just took a selfie. Anyone recognize well, those cameras? I am flush with ropes now. Just found an old pack full of them. In decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's, there's enough rope here that I could just... Leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Thank you, Josh. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn That's in. That's the, the last person she murdered. Wow. Oh. <gasps> yeah, Do see? Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name she in murdered him. years. What do I take a picture of where I found that? You can only take 24 pictures. Anyway, I remember these yeah, days. Brian Goodwin. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Why would you bring children out here? This looks very dangerous. Okay, supply chain is downstairs. Su supply chain is downstairs. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, so 
it goes. Have uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls. No. Huh? How do I get down there? Fuck. Oh, do we have to attach ropey? I don't think I have a rope. Do I have a rope? I guess I have a rope. All right, let's go. Shrimp Scampolini. We're repelling. We're repelling off the wall. I did that at camp. I know you don't believe me. No, I didn't mean to climb. Fuck. I get down. Can I not get down? What the fuck? Is this a glitch? It's like supposed to let me want to go down. Oh, there's more rope. Duh. We repel, <laughs> rappel. In French, it means remember something. <coughs> to rappel something means like I recall. I am recalling. But in English, it's like repelling, like getting away from something like insect repellent actually that's not the same word <laughs> they sound so similar though repel and repel oops where's my plank <gasps> did i lose my plank fuck Where'd I- I'd, I'd kept the note. Where'd I put my flank? What am I gonna do? Is it bad? I don't even remember where I put it down. It was all Delilah's fault. She, um, she did this. I have a better idea. Let's take this rock and then we can throw it at someone. Rocks are nice too. Yeah. Okay. Are we going the right way though? We'll never know because I can't look up my map. Hey, sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it and yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <laughs> Trust me, I know how it is. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I'm actually married. Stop but hitting on me. Here. <laughs> oh, let's She's tell sick. truth. And I shouldn't be here, but I am. I'm. I'm sorry, Henry. Wait, what is it? Don't tell her. We'll get into it. I don't trust okay. her. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. That's what a kidnapper like, says. I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Call me if you need to. <laughs> uh, I didn't mean to throw my rock. Hey, uh, Delilah? Hey there, what Delilah. You, <laughs> you found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? 
Uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. Ass over so tea kettle? the Forest kettle. Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. Huh. That's weird. What do you think they're keeping in? What do they not want to have get out of there? Oh. Geez, so many things. Should I just stop you now? Maybe loads of hedgehogs. Okay. Thousands Did of I just throw my rock? Points of the global hedgehog population. Uh-huh. The New Zealand government is, is up in arms. Where are all the hedgehogs? New well, Zealand? All New Wyoming. Zealand? That's where they are. What? Who would do that and why? Ha-ha. <laughs> that is the real mystery. This is America. Really glad I kept you in the loop. Thanks for all of the high-quality information. Okay, okay. I'll ask what's up if I talk to someone in the next few days who I think might know. How do I hop it? Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? Mm, well... Having once been an ornery young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence. Especially if I knew I was in trouble. I, I don't even know how I would get what? in. That's such a misleading really statement. Strange that that's the last there, thing I would do is climb a yeah, fence. Weird. Sounds like the first thing you would do, Miss Delier. Yeah, I don't know if I could use my plank, but I don't know where I put him. But I have a rock! The next Hollow Taco collection is behind the fence. True. Facts. It is behind the fence. We will never get to go. But there's a burned tree. From a forest. Fire? More smoky? Hmm. What does she have? From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm, you're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in the fireweed. Well, I want How you does to she know where I am? As a favor to little old me. Hmm? My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Does she have a tracker on me? I swear, she's like, like the guy in Saw, like a mastermind. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Flapjack? What does that mean? Excuse me? Flapjack? A pancake? You know, like a loser. A chotch. I really don't. Pancakes are not I losers. Do Delire. Next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini... You've got just the name to use. Oh, we hate rich people. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? That'll go over really it's well. It's beautiful! I love this energy we're gonna bring to people we don't know in the real world. Yeah! Attach rock to hook. <laughs> Do I have to leave my rock? We have to leave the rock! No! Goodbye! On va rappeler! On rappelle! Je me rappelle du temps quand j'ai allé au camp. I feel like life is better when you don't look at a map, you know what I mean? Like, this is fine. <laughs> Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Except we don't have our pet rock.
Everything is pine. Are you gonna beat it today? Probably not. <laughs> I don't know. Someone tell me how many uh, days there are in the game. I have lobster in my teeth, because right? I'm just fancy. Hey, do you see that? No. No? But uh, maybe. See what, exactly? I can barely make it out, but there's a small wisp of smoke way down to the southwest. She's baiting me. You should be able to find a way over there from the meadow by the lake. Towards Five Mile Creek, it's in the southwest quadrant of your map. Southwest you quadrant. Think it's those girls? I'm pretty sure it's a campfire, so yeah, I'd call that a safe bet. Man, they really do not give a shit, do they? Southwest. <sighs> not a one. Southwest is over here. Campfire smoke. Okay, so, so go south and a little bit west. So we have to go. this way right go directly into this wall do not pass go or collect a hundred dollars play you a nice song. Hey, this is where we found the girlies earlier. By the lake. Jonesy Lake. Okay, we gotta keep going. This way. 79 days? Wait, what? It said 79 days? Where? What are you talking about? Wait, this is not Southwest? I don't think we can go this way, though. Yeah, there's no, um, there's no way. So I guess we have to go around. <laughs> this doesn't look like the rat right way. Nope. <laughs> Is that a rock? No. Fuck, I'm lost. Why is this so blown out? Go south. Which is this way, but it's like blocked off. Okay, we might have to do like a little curly cue. And go the wrong way temporarily. So we can find our path. Oh my god, like what is happening? There we go. All right, listen up. We're gonna find the smoke.
down south, east. Fuck. <laughs> west. This way. <laughs> Guys, we're just, we're looking for treasure troughs. Actually. Mm -hmm. We're looking for treasure troughs. Still haven't found the first one. <laughs> Your patience is appreci appreciated. What the fuck? That sounds like a teacher I had used to pronounce things like that. She used to say appreciated and schedule. I don't really know why. Are we going the wrong way again? <laughs> we appreciate your patience as Simply Now Logical tries to figure out how to read a map. It's very hard for her having relied on Google Maps to, to go nowhere, really. But on the rare occasion she goes somewhere, she uses AI, basically, to guide her. And now she's all alone, without a computer, but playing a game on a computer about not using a computer to find your way. Riddle me this. We've been st thank you, procrastination. Are you calling me out? We've been trying to figure out a map for two hours and 46 minutes. I think we're going east now. Fuck. How do I go west? Oh, oh, this looks promising. Uh. Rappel. Is this game time? Because the sun is setting. Uh-oh. That means we're fucked. We have to go more east. No, west. <laughs> go more west. This way. Okay. Oh, I see a yellow box. Missing person? It's Del Delilah's last victim. Mitch Michaels, 31, six foot two, short brown hair, distinctive facial hair, was last seen on Jonesway Lake, July 3rd, 1981. He was first reported missing on July 29th, 1981. Why they wait so long? By Forest Service personnel. He is not known to be familiar with the area. Mm -hmm. The liar did it. Huh? 
How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. Who the area, fuck is that? The thoroughfare, because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins, and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd day a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. What, grizzlies won't kill an a-hole? They don't have a taste for unapologetic pricks? Nope. It's why we haven't lost a ranger in 11 years. So, you don't think anything bad happened to those guys? Yeah, I guess it's Who's possible, Teddy but Roos Roosevelt? we usually find evidence Roosevelt? and stuff like that. For instance, if you were to be hunted down and torn to shreds, I'm sure someone would come across a bloody beard and shredded pair of ugly cargo shorts. I like these shorts. I'm sure you do, Henry. Don't talk about my shorts, Lala. Okay, we're gonna continue southwest. Lush woods. Report the woods? Why would I report the woods? Well, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. <laughs> oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. There's a tree! Yeah, Report it! that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. It's like fire. the infected. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. How do you know where I am? Okay, if you have a GPS tracker, why don't I? Bitch. I think this is all like a murder plot, like some fun games she's playing, you know? I would like it if that was the game, to be honest. I don't know that. <laughs> don't say. But that'd be a fun twist. Like, actually, she was just a fucking crazy psycho like murderer like actually psychopathic like diagnosable because she's like let's play a game and murder him just a wee bit maladaptive oh the water looks clean and dirty at the same time isn't it lovely? Oh, look, let's go to... Oh my god, is that a shirt? <gasps> uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Strange. I forgot I left that, that piece of evidence. Oops. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Report! Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Maybe they died in here. Isn't that weird? Like, why are we looking for skinny dipping teenagers? Like, okay, weird. Okay, weird. It is beautiful out here, though. It's quite nice. I like it out here. Can I climb? No. That's a tree. Who was that tree? Excuse me, young ladies. <laughs> Hey, what's to the south of here? Um, Mexico? Is this some sort of river? <laughs> I just have a nice view to the south. You know, trees and mountains forever. Well, eventually you'll wander into the area overseen by Chimney Rock Lookout, but that's probably an impossible hike in terms of terrain. Watch me, Delire. You ain't seen nothing. I can hike with my eyes closed. With my boots on my hands. With a, a rock on my head. 
Okay. How how do we How do I get out of here? Help. Why am I stuck? Okay, we already like looked at that whole area cuz that's where Okay, let's go this way. Look, I'm Jesus. I can walk on water. Praise be. Life is better when you don't look at your map. <laughs> just carefree, you know, just don't care. Where am I going? That's the question you'll never know the answer to. Oh, fuck. We ran out of stream. Ben, birch trees. Here they make paper. We're just doing a perimeter sweep of the woods. It's important, okay? Anytime you go to the woods, make sure you do a perimeter sweep. speed run. Look at us go. Did we come from here? Oh my god. Fuck, we never found them. <laughs> we went the wrong way! No! Okay, we're going back. Okay, everybody. Gotta go southwest. Okay, you don't have anywhere to be. You don't have anything, any business to attend to. This is the business that you attend to. It's called simply living. All right, so that's the box. Been there, done that. So we can just keep going. the stream and then now we'll check a map uh, well we know that one that way doesn't go anywhere so we got to keep going west to enter the campfire smoke zone west is this way yes got lost last time. Because I actually need to back up and go north. Sacrifice the map? You want to burn it? I'm just learning how to read it. Can't burn it yet. When we're done here. When we finally meet Delilah and murder her, we'll burn this map. <gasps> camp! Camp! Tent! Things! 
Team Campfire report. I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. I have entered the teen zone. Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like... Hello? I'm scared. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. A bear got them. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. Dear Psycho. <gasps> They're talking to Delia. I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross. Out. Oh, you're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. Hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks. Dick. tent looks like it's been through the shredder which would explain that scrap i found but like they what wouldn't have done, have done that? that like a like a bear or um i don't know it sounds crazy oh, wait. but even a bull elk if they it's think a we did it whatever did it did not hold back you've got that camera right it might be a good idea to get a few snaps just in case yeah good thinking they think we destroyed their campsite how do i get my camera but like was it us or was it that other random guy I, do I have to report their note I almost feel like reporting things might be bad for me because I'm like telling Delilah who I think is our kidnapper information you know what I mean oh well, they're gone for sure well what's it say uh, it's just um, uh, it's an apology for all the trouble we're lying well, now good they should be sorry is everything okay? Can we can we put this to bed? Don't tell Delilah that we're calling the police or they're calling. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was probably just a bear down here. Who knows, right? Exactly. I mean, it's the wilderness. It's it's wild. It says so right in the name. I mean. Well, you are a dork, huh? Hey, look Stop who's flirting. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, maybe we can actually just get to work from now on. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Why lie? Let me tell you. I don't know this, I'm just guessing. But uh, she's asking us to report all these fucking things. And I don't want to tell her that girls said that police have been notified. Because if we tell her that police have been notified and she's a crazy hey, kidnapper, then yeah. she will be tipped um, off. What do you look like? Which could be bad for us. Why and now she's asking, asking what we look like. Because I'm horribly superficial. Like she doesn't already know because she's stalking us. Or we could be overthinking it and we just didn't tell our main Isn't supervisor about the police coming. <laughs> Unless you just don't want to answer. I don't know which, which one case. it is. Does anyone know how many days are in this I'm game? I'm going to say that you are lopsided like the hunchback and... Harry, like the man in the iron mask. <laughs> Take that. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? This can't be that hard. 
Think of your closet. Open it in your mind. What is inside? Uh, I'm guessing nothing but really gross bowling shirts. Congratulations. See, she's fucking least, weird. Tell me about your face. Stop. Uh, hmm. uh, pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. <gasps> You're what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't, don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. They look tired, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just... You think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mister. But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Stop flirting with me! Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. I need some fucking coffee. I don't like her. Wait, wait. <clears throat> Hold on. Simply analysis time. Delire wants to draw us. Just like our previous spouse that we just abandoned used to draw us, right? What if Delilah is our spouse, Julia? That'd be like, that probably doesn't make sense because Julia was suffering from dementia. It's highly unlikely, but like, I don't know, I'm not a doctor, to be able to maintain this for multiple days. You know what I mean? Unless she like had a sudden recovery or I don't know. You know what I mean? And you would recognize the voice. Yeah, but you can use like trans, whatever you call them, to like change your voice. Just a theory that's probably not correct. Think today's gonna be normal, although Delilah is, is having a hell of a time getting the communications wire fixed. This girl did a real bang up job fucking us over. A few days before I left, I got a call from Jules's dad. Uh oh. Realized I hadn't talked to him in the, over the past few years as much as I thought. I was so worried about getting my line on the phone whenever I would call that I just stopped calling altogether. I guess that's the sort of thing I writing all this stuff down is supposed to make me realize. Look at us having a diary. Anyway, Mick just wanted to see how I was doing and wanted to have me out and I appreciated it because he got that ain't no worries bloke attitude. Is he British? Ain't no worries bloke. But it doesn't feel right. I bet Madeline's been hot on him. Goddamn. Here's something else I realized. Jules lacked my parents. She lacked them both. But that didn't stop her from laying into me with, You're acting like your father. And I realize now I love the parts of her that she got from Mick and the parts of her that she got from Madeline. Scared the living shit out of me, except the whole looks department. No denying she looked out there. She's a pretty lady. Okay, that was an excerpt from our fine diary. So, sorry, I'd ask how many days there are in this game. I think someone said seven, but then someone else said 12, which are very different. Throw the paper. Oh my God, look at our nails. Oh, they look like they've been climbing rocks. <laughs> you know what I mean? Damn, we need some nail oil, shit. Hmm, toolbox. Can't do anything with it. There are 12 playable days, or like 12 chapters. Got it, thank you, Kay. 
So we're only on day four? Oh my god, guys. I thought this was going to be like one, maybe two games. <gasps> I can't board up my window because I lost my plank. Fuck. Those socks? There's boards downstairs? Okay. Let's go get them. Where's the planks? Here? Imagine we had to use the plank from like way back when in the woods. That'd be so frustrating. How come I can't pick these up? Is it not these? Come on, man. I came all the way downstairs. If not these planks. Oh. We, ha we have bricks here. What am I supposed to do with it? Throw it at the zombies? <sighs> I can't pick up those planks, guys. I tried. There's nothing to get. There's a board by the blocks. Yeah, that's... But it won't let me take it. Oh, what? Oh, a different board. Okay, got it. Get a couple more boards. Where? Oh. <laughs> okay, they're there. Any more? Oh. They're right there, Christine. I thought it would be those. I was like, obviously it's those. Okay. Okay, let's fix the window. Careful, my nails. Can we walk to Delilah's tower? That's a really good question, Caitlin. Hmm. I got that window all patched up. So what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Murder. Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. And I ask no questions. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. That's what detectives oh. will be doing. Yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. I don't like her. Where is she located? Where do you think she is? Hmm. She has, we haven't gotten really any hints. I'm ready to work. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. You know, I'm gonna hike around for a while before I really put my nose to the grindstone. Oh, yeah, you do that. Am I? No. Okay, Give me a task. now I'm ready. Let's get to work. <laughs> How were those precious few seconds of jobless freedom? Oh, magical. 
good. Now get to work. What if Delilah doesn't exist and it's just all in our head? Okay, maybe we should end it there because then it goes day 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, let's do that. Good Hello, place Henry. to I'm end, nice yeah? Afternoon. Good place to end. Um, what if Delilah's not real? What if she's in our head? Because we're trying to fill a void. That's what it is. Oops, stream elements is broken. Hold on, I have simply thoughts. The thoughts are coming to my head. Please hold. <laughs> okay, what if she doesn't exist because uh, we're trying to fill a void for Julia because we feel guilt. So we're just like imagining that we're talking to someone. And that's why our conversations are weird. Because when you imagine that you're talking to someone, the conversation is always off. <laughs> it's always weird. Mm -hmm. And so we're just kind of losing it a little bit with every day. But we really did start by going to the wilderness and then in trying to cope with our loneliness, we invented a new person. So it's either that or she's an ax murderer. It's only those two options. There's no in between. Christine, you've got the most out there ideas on what's happening, but that's probably what's actually happening in this game. Is it? I mean, I don't know. Don't tell me. <laughs> it's just a theory. I often invent new ax murders. See, that's what I'm saying, right? Like, I think we invented her. Or she's a crazy psycho, and then this game will turn out to be like Saw. And then I'll be like, like, that's kind of fun, you know? <laughs> it's only one or the other. She, she either doesn't exist, and then the end of the game is just like, you imagined it all because you shouldn't have hurt Julia and this is a life lesson to be a better person and be caring. Blah, blah, blah. Or, uh, Julia gets her revenge indirectly because a crazy murderer just developed this plan to, to murder us this way and that's the end. And you're like, what kind of game was this? Plot twist. Either way, the player is satisfied because we have some kind of personal growth, whether that's through learning about our hallucinations and whatever, or by being murdered. <laughs> like one or the other. That's it. <laughs> All right. Well, with that said, I think we'll call it there. And um, I will see you guys on Saturday. What if we're the serial killer? Pff, that's another possibility. Could be. Saturday's Polish Mountain, please join me in my torture. I will need your help. It's gonna start at 11 a.m. the regular time Saturday stream start, but I don't know when it will end because my goal is to do 100 codes and the last time I did that a million years ago, I think it took me 12 hours. Uh, I'm gonna try and get a timer or something so I like make sure I'm putting on a code every five minutes and if I do that, it would only be like eight hours or something. Ben did the math. Def climbing with me. Thank you. I need company. <laughs> what else are you doing on Saturday? This. This is what you're doing. It was 116 coats and it took you 13 hours. Coming in with the facts for Krasnelshin. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do. We're going to do some math at coat 50 and decide whether or not I need to end the stream and start a new one because YouTube only lets you stream for 12 hours. And if you go over it, they just delete the VOD. Like, it won't exist. So I don't want that to happen. Every five minutes. I don't know if it'll dry. It should. It should with five minutes. But yeah. Why? I don't know. Will we survive? You saw what it's like with Simply in the Wilderness. So uh, wish me luck and I will see you there. Do we need to get sleeping bags for Saturday? Probably. You know, it could be an overnight adventure. We'll see. Yikes. Yikes forever. All right, everybody. Thank you to the mods. And um, go read the Sophia announcement details if you're just joining it and you're like, what? Holo Chaco is collabing with Sophia. What? 
How did I miss that? I've been in the wilderness for three hours. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see y'all later. Bye. Thank you.